WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update, and uh, currently, right now, let's get the uh, charts up here on the screen. Currently, we've got the uh, mixed bag. The mixed bag is the Dow's up 84 points. The S&P's off 21. NASDAQ 100, 344. Russell's down 23. Semi's off 150. Trannies are up just slightly. New York Stock Exchange is up a bit. Gold is trading out at 1797, and silver trading out at 2247. As we do during this time, we go take a look at the indices, see what they're doing. So let's get those charts up on the screen. Let's go ahead and change panels. And we begin by taking a look at the uh, Dow in the upper left-hand corner. So what we know about the Dow, whoops, sorry about that. It still has a TD9 count top, so its top is still in play. If price today can close above 35,952.63, that's a TD9 breakdown level. That would suggest that it will at least explore that high. That high took place on November the 8th out there. The S&P 500 still maintains its roads momentum indicator top, its TD9 count top. But price right now on a daily basis is holding its green oscillator and change line. And I mean literally holding it. We're at 46.86, and that's where that oscillator and change line is. So. On a daily basis, if the S&P can hold this level, then uh, we probably see a little bit of a uh, bounce from here. And if price closes below it, expect a further retracement. In the case of the NDX 100, it's saying it wants to move lower and maybe retarget 15,578. That is its breakout level. The Russell 2000 yesterday confirmed a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom already had and still has a TD9 count bottom. But that red oscillator and change line, that is key. It has tested and rejected that, so we may go explore that bottom. Yesterday's low, the bottom of the TD9 count out here. All I can say is even though you've got bullish signals, really it's more neutral than that. The semiconductors, they have a TD9 count top, and they're trading with inside a consolidation. So a break to the upside or the downside will give us a measured move, but they too have a top. In the case of the Dow Transports, if we take this back, we had that big, gigantic, wide-ranging bar day on November 2nd. And certainly there's at least an A to B equals CD, the upside that is completed out here. And you get the shooting star to, ref to, to confirm that. So in this case here, the trannies may be targeting their breakout level. That's down at the 15146 area. Spot Politics is trading just slightly above its 50-day exponential moving average, and you've got nice bottoming signals in the XAU. The question is, can the XAU take out its oscillator and change line? It's trading right now into resistance. If it can close above that, then the mining equity should be off to the races. Folks, stay tuned. David White's up next. Tom O'Brien will take us on home. I'll be back with you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, so join me live if you can. Have a terrific Thursday, folks.